you never talk about who it was and when or what was the circumstance under which Carver. My whole community of name is Kopluk. I come from the Stuvianus First Nations. It's about, uh, about an hour from Victoria. I'm here at uh, Highlands to Islands exhibit. This is my uh, moon, my moon mask. It's carved from maple. Uh, on the show I focused on a lot on the woods that I decided to use. This is maple and new wood. And on the bottom the base I uh, use like a type of wood, it's called fiddleback maple, and it's to symbolize the, the rays of the moon coming onto the ocean. And also, uh, another uh, part of the, the cultural exchange that I took part in was a friend of mine, Cletus Yambon, we carved a canoe up here. And uh, he stayed with me for a week, and when he arrived, he asked me what we would like to, to create together. So. We, uh, I had a red cedar log, so we carved a specific style canoe and a paddle. So you can see the crocodile head on the top, and then on the inside there's a face which represents the crocodile's sister. And then on the back there'll be another uh, finial piece that's set on there, which is another symbol of the crocodile's sister. And then there's a traditional uh, Sepik River paddle that's placed in, in top too. So we've We've uh, quickly got a lot of work done on this piece for, we spent about uh, six days on that and uh, now the slow work starts and we'll start doing the finishing work, uh, probably take about another two months, two and a half months to do all the fine detail and uh, so there's a lot, a lot of fine detailed carving that needs to be done before but this is what we managed to get done in that little time. This has been carving for about 40 years and I've been carving for about 20 or so. That, the combination of our experience, we were able to get that far. But when we got to this point, we both stopped and we knew right away that that would be it.
kind of what to do in their traditions. How can it be made sustainable as a nation where there are, I think it's one of the most culturally, uh, linguistic, diverse uh, places in the world. We speak over 700 different languages. So we got the money, um, if you say to people, in theory, they don't know where it is. And if they do know anything about their arts, they know about the traditional art, and they just want to know the famous tribal arts in the world. But people are very, the Westerners are very ambiguous about what this new art means. So, for example, if I show you this painting here by Martin Morabula from the Tolbin Islands, They are harvest festivals, the Melamala harvest festivals. And it also has a political meaning. So you look at it and you say, all right, this is a representation of the Melamala celebration, celebrating the harvest, celebrating what the uh, Trojan Islanders do, uh, that they give all the yams to the chief. And then the chief has the duty to redistribute the wealth to the people. And the second meaning of this painting is to be temporary. taking care of their people. So in talking about the past, there's also this meaning, this rather social criticism and the role of the party as a social critic. To make a comment about disagreeing about what's going on in society today. The other in, uh, important uh, significance of our show is that we want to emphasize the importance of cultural exchange. In traditional Papua New Guinea, all of the societies exchanged and had trading partners with one another. So in Papua New Guinea, this is always going on. But now something new is happening. Uh, last year, um, there was an exchange from the Altaringa Gallery that uh, John Marston, a Polish Salish uh, artist here, went to Papua New Guinea uh, and a film was made of his visit to the Sepik Society, the people called Yakma. And the statue that you are looking here is one of the artists from the Yakma people, uh, whose name was Teddy Balando, uh, then came over here uh, to British Columbia and carved uh, in the Museum uh, of Vancouver. And cultural exchange. The statue is called Killer Whale and Crocodile. Killer Whale is from the Spanish people, which is a local symbol for them. And on the other side uh, is the most important symbol for the Latin people. Uh, they have this wonderful facial decoration. So you must see here uh, this importance of this cultural exchange that is represented uh, in uh, this statue. And if you turn around up here, you will see that uh, this group, we have another artist. We have another artist here, Kate Yangon, who has come and he has made this with John Marston, who is a coastal Salish artist. And we have it here, it's not finished yet. But it's going to have symbols that are Northwest Coast symbols from Salish people and symbols from the Yachty Mountains. So the art exhibition is also a cultural exchange.